Hi there. Today we're going to have a look at the Redback Smart Energy Inverter, the SH5000 Generation 2, and how the integrated DC isolator meets the requirements of AS5033 for mechanical interlocking with the power module. So this is the process to remove the power module for replacement. You would have first um, received a replacement power module so that you can uh, do it all in one uh, trip. The process is that in order to remove this cover, you must first turn off the DC isolator. So to demonstrate that, I'll try to remove the cover. While the unit's on. And as you can see, I can't take the cover off because there is a cutout uh, in the cover preventing it coming off while the DC isolator is switched on. So of course I need to switch off all AC circuits and DC circuits to the unit, turning off the AC input, AC output, uh, the battery, and finally the PV input. Wait for it to de-energize so that all the lights have gone off, and also isolate the unit uh, at the main switchboard. So we've now isolated at the main switchboard, we've isolated at the inbuilt um, switch enclosure, we've turned off the DC isolator and now we can remove the cover. There's no accessible parts on the DC side uh, to IP4X, you can't touch anything, it's all screen from touch. In order to remove the power module, which is this top unit here, we need to remove the mechanical uh, locking pin and also the data cables between them. So there are a comms cable here, which unplugs. That's our data cables there. We remove Take the locking pin out and I'll just get some assistance. Uh, Amin, would you help me for a moment? We're going to lift this unit up and then place it on the ground. It is quite heavy. Yeah, it's heavy. All right. Okay. You have it? Yeah. Oh. Slide down on that. Oh. Okay, so we've now removed the power module. Um, still, everything's off. No accessible parts. Uh, we've got screened plugs here. So. We're now going to put the new power module back in place. Uh, I mean, if you'd like to help me lift it back in, the new one. Fingers clear. Yep. All good. We then plug the data cables back in put the locking pin back in place make sure the unit's fully down And there are also some security locks which go at the top here, uh, which I'll install later on, just so that no one can steal the power module. We're now ready to, to replace the, the front panel. The front panel can go back on. Now we can reinitialize the inverter uh, with a new power module installed. So I've turned on uh, the grid supply at the subboard to which it's connected. We can now turn on the battery. We can turn on the AC circuit for backup, for grid. And finally, we can turn on the PVDC. So the unit now is fully uh, restarted. This is a, an IP67 cover, uh, which incidentally is lockable, so 
when it's covered, a lock pin or um, a PIL lock can be placed in here and sealed completely if required. So the unit takes a few minutes to start up, you'll see some lights flashing. That's the procedure to replace the power module in a Redback Smart Energy Inverter that's compliant with AS5033. The relevant clauses for mechanical interlocking of the DC isolator.